Have you been looking for a more affordable area of Cincinnati to move to? Hi, I'm Rhonda at the Rhonda Ever Group and Comey and Shepherd Realtors. And today we're going to explore five areas that have an average sale price of under $300,000. Now, many of these are also areas that our clients are clamoring for. So we hope that you like them too. All right, so we're gonna kind of work our way around the city. Um, we're gonna start north in the northwest corner, Butler County, Fairfield City Schools. It's Fairfield and Fairfield Township, but they have an average price of 264,000. And I was kind of shocked because like, <laughs> I feel like we can never find anything over there, but it is just so hot right now. The average home is comprised of three bedrooms, two baths, 1,876 square feet. The average year built is 1982. So these are the newest of all the homes we're gonna talk about today. And it also might be a condo. There is a large variety <laughs> of different condo communities that you can choose from in this area. But yeah, it's mostly, well, it's all. It's all summer. There's not even a little downtown Fairfield that I'm aware of. So you're gonna find wide streets. I could even turn my Tesla around in the middle of them. Sidewalks in most of the areas and You've got Route 4, which is kind of like the, the main drag that has everything you could ever imagine as far as businesses and restaurants. It's also home to Jungle Gyms International Market. And if you've never been, that's definitely a place to go check out. Then if you head over a little further north, to Fairfield Township, you're gonna find Bridgewater Falls, which is a kind of smaller lifestyle center, but larger than, larger than most, I would say. All right, so let's head east to Warren County and we're gonna check out Lebanon. We have done a couple of videos about areas of Lebanon and you can check those out here. But Lebanon is the county seat. So it is a little bit of a bigger small town. It still has an amazing blend of older homes, newer homes kind of mixed in. Um, and then a lot of like ranches, no basements, just simple, easy to live in homes. But everyone loves walking downtown and it is very walkable. You can check out the restaurants and the shop, go to the Golden Lamb, really cool place. And they have done a great job having events and things for the community. But the average home is three bedrooms, two baths, 1,945 square feet, and the age is surprisingly 1975. I forget how many kind of those 70s, 60s, 70s homes that are there because there are so many older homes as well. But the average price point, I mean, they just sneaked in under that 300 range they are at 297 and it's another area that is just hot, hot, hot. It may take a minute to find something, but it's so worth looking. All right, but maybe you would like to be somewhere a little more central. All right, how about Deer Park? Deer Park. Deer Park's located in Hamilton County, right off State Route 126, also known as Ronald Reagan, they actually have their own school system. They are also ranked 11th in best suburbs for young professionals. I thought that was very interesting. Niche.com also gives them an overall A grade. Your average home there will most likely be a ranch or a Cape Cod. It's gonna be three bedroom, probably only one bath, but there might be like a pseudo bath <laughs> in the basement. I'm sorry. If you've never seen it, I don't, for whatever reason, Cincinnati, 
has a lot of basements that there's just a toilet. And if you're lucky, there's like a shower head just mounted on a board somewhere in the basement. And sometimes people will call that a half bath. The average square footage is 1,315 square feet. And the average age of the home is 1936. So those are a little bit older for sure. May need some updating in certain things if that has not been done already. Think electrical, plumbing. But the average price is 226,000. So again, that 1,300 square feet, you're not paying quite as much for it as you are 1,800 square feet. And there are some places that you can walk to. There's some parks, but most likely you're gonna be driving to Kroger, Target, and the nearby Kenwood Town Center. All right, so we are heading around now to Green Township. Green Township is Hamilton County. It's on the west side and people love it because of it's just proximity to downtown. So you're probably about 15 minutes away. There may be sections that are 10 minutes away. It just kind of depends where you are. It also has like this amazing 26 acre park that looks super cool. I've never been there, but I gotta go check it out. And there's golf courses and there are things to do. Um, there's definitely uh, easy access to the highway as well as shops and restaurants. Green Township though is serviced by several different school districts. Most of them seem to be Oak Hills, but there is also Cincinnati Public and Northwest Schools. Just make sure you get information about those before you buy the house. But the average home there is three bedroom, two bath. It was built in 1973 and has 1,866 square feet. So average price point here is gonna be 263,000, but you're gonna find a wide variety of homes. Yes, you've got older homes in one section of Green Township. You're gonna find those Cape Cods and ranches that we've been talking about everywhere else. There are also a variety of yard sizes. So when you get out onto some of those more uh, traveled roads and not just little neighborhoods, I mean, you might have several acres, you might just have like a half acre, but totally different size and type house than maybe you would find in some of those closer neighborhood areas. But being a township, um, there should not be any actual earnings tax, but you may pay a little more in property tax just to kind of offset that. So keep that in mind as well. All right, lastly, I did not really choose any spot in Claremont County, not because I don't like it or anything like that, because it's just that most of the county has an average sale price of under $300,000, except for Loveland and Milford, which is off the charts, but pretty much the rest of the county would be available to you if you're looking for something more affordable. <laughs> Do you have any questions about any other areas or any places you'd like to know more about? Please reach out. We would love to hear from you directly or you can comment below and let us know what we can do to help you find where you belong in Cincinnati. See you next time.